I enjoyed motorcycling. I enjoyed going out and touring. I especially enjoyed the chapter that I belonged to. They were great guys and girls. It was very focused on touring. It was a wonderful thing in my life. I, I did it for, I guess it was eight years. And I, and I just enjoyed doing it very much. Two years ago, we went on a trip to Maine to a lobster shack for a luncheon. And on the way back in the afternoon, for some reason I had an accident and I drifted off the road. I lost my consciousness and it's never been determined why. I had a number of injuries. It's the loss of my arms, that's the most uh, uh, visual. But I, I had a, a number of broken bones and I became immobile. I was uh, not able to walk for about seven months. I do not recall the day of the accident or the days leading up to the accident. I don't recall the next two and a half months. And my earliest memory is that I was lying in bed and Gail was sitting there and I simply turned to her and said, hi Gail. She had something she had to tell me that there had been an accident and that I had lost my arms. We sat for a moment and just thought about it. It took me a second to digest it. And I said to Gail, that we'll just have to work our way out of this. When I was at UMass, one of the questions that she asked quickly was, would there be any hope of prosthetics in my future? And they felt that there would be no chance of prosthetics. When I was transferred to Spalding in Charlestown, they had us in contact with United, and Greg and Brendan came in to see me, and Greg never hesitated. He said, absolutely, we'll take care of you. We'll set you up on both sides. And over time, he did just that. They immediately gave us hope, and that was one more huge ingredient in the recovery that pushed us forward. They said that they will build me something, and they did. And not only did they build us something, but beyond our wildest dreams. And we were just thinking if I had just one arm, it would change our life. I never dreamed that I would ha be able to have two prosthetics that I could do as much as I can do with. Without my prosthetics, <clears throat> I can do nothing. I can't move the simplest objects in front of me. I cannot turn on a light switch. With my prosthetics, I can manipulate things. I can now move things for myself. For instance, this cup of coffee that's in front of me, if I wanted to move it toward me, I can simply slide it over. I can bring it back. I can pick that cup up and bring it over to the sink and put it beside the sink. Now I can do for myself all small things. Just walking, my mobility, I have better balance with the prosthetics on because I, now I have weight on both sides. We eat in the morning. Behind me, there are muffins that Gail makes for me every week and has them in a container. I'm able to pick up a muffin, put it onto the plate, and I have a knife that I use that I'm able to cut it up, bring the plate back, put it over. So that's just opened up so much in my life for me. It means an awful lot to me. And United gave me that encouragement right from the, the start. They were always very optimistic and always reassuring to me. And we always had great feelings. I, I'd always be excited when I saw Gail and said, again, this package is coming together. They're doing this. And they, they did. I'm mobile, I can get around, and my future just gets brighter and brighter all the time. I continue to find purpose in my life. The future, Is, is wide open. And I say that because I did not think a year ago or two years ago we would ever make it to where we are now. You view what you think is the horizon somewhere out in the future. It's really not. It's really gonna be something different than that. You're gonna make that and then some.